Good afternoon, everyone. This is Thomas at White House Loft to give a short update. These are some birds that I picked up today while in Louisville at the National Young Bird Pigeon Show. I didn't really need any more birds, but I really like the color of these homers, and so I couldn't pass them up. Got a pretty good deal on them uh, from a couple different breeders. So I'm gonna put them in my breeding program for next year after they're quarantined for several months. As you know, I don't race uh, my homers, but I do actually like the different color homers. So I picked these birds up and we'll go through them. Hopefully I can do this and hold the camera steady at the same time. But I think I got seven birds in here. And um, like I said, I just like the colors of them. So we'll go through them one at a time. I won't tell the band numbers or anything. Actually, I think a couple of them doesn't have bands. I believe I got uh, three hens and four cockbirds in here. Uh, I'm not 100% not certain. One of them is a very young bird. It's a squeaker. Actually, that's the one that's poking his head through the uh, crate as we speak. Um, so we'll go through them real quick and I'll show you what I got. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's kind of hard. This here bird is uh obviously it's uh this is not working too good <laughs> this this is a saddle homer he's got a little bit of a different color on him um he is a cock bird i got him from a gentleman that lives in tennessee uh, so i just like i said i'm gonna go over this it's not gonna be real easy by unboxing them i don't have a tripod uh, but these these birds here are just going to be in my breeding program for 2023. All right, I'll let him go and I'll show you the next one. Okay, that's a good looking bird. I like the color of him, but again, he's just, uh, well, I guess you would call him a saddle homer. I'm not sure. It goes on up into his neck or splash maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, these birds have been in my crate for a couple hours, so they probably are a little thirsty and a little hungry. So I gotta hurry and I gotta get them some water and food. So uh, the next one, uh, this here is, uh, I'll hold it up. This bird is actually a Milliman. Uh, I thought it was a Trenton, but it's a Milliman. I told someone today that it was a Trenton, but it's actually a Milliman. Uh, I was hoping it was a hen, but it's actually a cock bird. He's going through the moat. He's this year's bird, so he looks a little rough right now, but uh, I'll put him on a couple of the reds that I got, or one of the red hens that I got that I raised last year. I'll sit him down. But that's what he looks like. And if you would overlook the loft, I cleaned it and they're still molting. My birds are, so... Uh, there's feathers everywhere, so. All right. Here's the next one, this bird. Uh, he is, um, I don't know what color you'd call him. Maybe uh, he's got, let me hold him. Straighten him out here a little bit, bear with me. Uh, kind of hard doing this with one hand, sorry guys. But you can see, uh, He's kind of got a little orange and red in him. I don't know what you call that. But I'll set him down. He's going to fit there. But that's, that's what he looks like. Uh, I'll get him some water. Uh, that's the third one. This is a baby, the squeaker. It's like, um, he told me what this was. It's a this year's bird. It's uh, a dilute, I guess. I'm not sure. Maybe some of y'all can tell me what they are. That's what that baby is. Next one is a opal, I believe. Opal lace. Uh, that's this bird here. Uh, good looking bird. I like the color on her. Well, actually, I think it's a cock bird. I thought it was a hen, but I believe it's a cock bird. So, set that bird down. I'll show you that bird. All right. I'll zoom in on them in a few minutes after I get them all out. This bird is... Uh, uh, 2018 bird here um, put it down there so you can see it I don't know what color you'd call that bird either uh, I'm learning the colors so maybe somebody can help me with it and last but not least 
Uh, this bird is like an opal splash, I guess you would say. So, that bird right there is the last one to come out. It's a really pretty bird too. So, let me zoom back out. The other one's up here flying around. Maybe he'll get down there on the floor. That's that's what I got. I bought these today, like I said, at the Young Bird Show. So uh, they will be in quarantine. They're going to be in their own the own side of this side of my loft. I'm not going to put them with my other birds, uh, but I will use them for breeders next year. So it's kind of hard uh, shaking doing the video. I apologize, but it was kind of hard to take them out of the box and actually. Uh, do this with one hand so that bird right there is actually a pedigreed bird uh, she is a Huskin Van Reel uh, bloodline and her her mother won a 500 mile race I uh, got the pedigree on her from a gent from the gentleman um, he raises colored homers and she is a couple years old so she was a proven breeder for him all right, I just wanted to give a short update and show everybody what I got. And that's four of them. There's two up there. And then up here is the Muleman. Mike, uh, you sold me or traded me uh, some of my birds for uh, your Muleman. I was hoping that'd be a hen so I could breed her to the cock bird I got from you. But I think I'm going to breed him back to one of the reds that I got. So. But uh, the guy that I got this bird from come from Pennsylvania. He had uh, two crate fulls, uh, and he sold them all besides that one, and that was the last one left, and I was lucky enough to get that bird for him. And that is a 2022 cock bird. So he's just young. He, like I said, he's going through the moat. So he looks a little rough right now, but he'll clean up, and he'll look a lot better. So, All right. And here's another view of those. Hopefully they can stretch their wings a bit and maybe uh, become some good breeders for me. I gotta get them some food and water. Um, right now I'm feeding the pellets, um, the Purina pellets. Uh, hopefully they like those because I think they were eating some grain uh, in the pen, uh, pens that they were in. So, all right. I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Have a good day.